Happy April guys, I am back with my second ever YouTube video and it's going to be a little bit different for me today because if you follow my blog you're probably aware that at the beginning of every month I tend to do a write up of the previous month's favourites in my opinion. As you can see it's not a blog post, I've decided to do a video documenting my favourite favourites? Favourite favourites? Yeah? <laughs> my favourite favourites of last month. I have to point out at this stage that yes, I have lost a nail, it's very upsetting, I'm hurt by this, and if you are an acrylic wearing girl or guy, you will know that this sucks and I'm very upset about it and I just want you to draw attention to it now so you can feel the pain that I am in. But anyway, moving on from my acrylic nail issues, the first product that I had was actually given to me at a blogging event that I went to a couple of weeks ago. A couple of the things that I'm going to be talking about were given to me at these events and I've just been slowly trying them out um, and just discovered a couple of them that I'm really really loving at the moment. The guys at Ioma Paris were at the event that I went to a couple of weeks ago and they were so lovely. They had this crazy machine that had lasers and sensors on that they put onto your skin and it basically told you what was wrong with your skin. And it was a bit demoralising at the time because it's a bit scary, basically you've got this, this, this wrong with your skin, but it's so helpful. It basically takes five minutes and within that time they will work out how oily your skin is, how dehydrated it is, what your line and wrinkle situation is, and then it will give you products that would be useful for you. So one of the products I walked away with is the Vitality Shot. I was going to read the back of this to you, but it's just in French and I don't speak French. It sort of just says Serum Creator Delec. Delec? Is that right? Delec? I don't know. If you speak French, please help. But um, she did explain to me that it is really, really good for just boosting your skin and giving you a little bit more colour and it really helps sort of decrease the lines around the eyes and the forehead, which is a massive thing because she also told me that I have dehydrated skin. So really, really happy with this product. I tend to actually mix it in with my foundation at the minute, which I'm finding really, really successful. I just put a little bit of foundation onto my hand as normal and probably put a couple of drops of this on. If I, I'll just undo it so you can see. It's sort of this sort of thing and it comes out, it comes out as a cream like that that you can just rub in. You can put it anywhere on your body, but I've just been using it on my face at the minute and it's just been working so well, it's really brightened my skin up, it's definitely made the creases around my forehead decrease, <laughs> decrease, that wasn't even meant to be funny, so definitely worthwhile. I'll put all of the information about these products in the little bit below here, so you can check them out for yourself, if you want to try them, I would love to hear what you think. Leading on from the Vitality shot, I actually am using this product in conjunction with it, which I also received at that event by the lovely guys at Monu Plus. It's called the Instant Radiance Brightening Boost, and it's for all skin types and prevents sun damage and helps heal it if you have any. Um, it says on here, this ultimate brightening serum will revitalise the complexion, resulting in sheer luminosity and radiance. And it's also paraffin free, which is great for me because I tend to react slightly to things that have paraffin in. So I was really, really excited to try this product out and I was right about it. I always do, as they say, and I'll go and clean my face in the morning or at night and before I put on my morning moisturiser, I put a layer of this on as well. And then I'll put my moisturiser on as normal and then carry on with my makeup using the Vitality Shot mixed with my foundation. And again, them two together, it's just insane. It has made my skin glow. And I've had so many compliments from people saying like, what are you doing differently to your skin? It's these two products. They have just changed my skin and made me feel so much more confident about wearing makeup. I used to have quite a lot of discoloration around this part of my face and it's slowly starting to go now and I do think it is to do with these products. It's really cool. Again, I'll show you what it looks like. It's just a little squirty bottle, very similar looking to the last time, just a little bit on the hand, rub in. Perfect. It's really smooth and so nice to go on. It doesn't feel greasy or oily or anything like that. It's just really straightforward and smells divine. It's so nice to smell. I end up smelling it more than actually wearing it. So yeah, I'm just going to put those ones down. It smells so good. 
So as I said, when I went to the guys at Ioma, they checked my skin out and they said that it was dehydrated and they said that it could be for a number of reasons, but it's most likely that I haven't been exfoliating properly. So she spoke to me in quite length about what I need to do and that it will help increase the lines that I have on my face because it's not actually lines, it's more the fact that I've got dry skin that's just sat on my face. So as soon as I got home, the first thing that I looked at was what exfoliator should I be using? Should I go out and buy an exfoliator? What should I be doing to make my skin better and less dry? And to be honest, there's so many different products out there and they're all pretty expensive. So I just thought, you know what? I've seen it on Pinterest a couple of times. I'm going to give it a go and make my own. So this is what I did, and this is one of my favourites. It looks literally like some sort of potion out of Harry Potter. It's got, it's a bit runny, as you can see, it's kind of weird. This is my natural exfoliant scrub that I made. I'll put a link below to the blog post, which you might have seen where I explain how to make it and how beneficial it has been for my skin, because I cannot tell you, in conjunction with those other products I've been using, exfoliating has helped so much. Again, visibly less lines on my face, it's not feeling as dry and tight anymore, and it feels so soft once I've exfoliated and put all my creams on. I'm really, really happy with it. Another thing that's helping me in my dry skin at the minute, which I've really, again, found it's making a difference to my skin and making it tighter, is the Clinique Moisture Surge Overnight Mask. And this says, Luxurious nighttime ritual that helps deeply hydrate and restore a protective moisture barrier. Creamy mask that helps replenish moisture and build reserves for tomorrow. Skin awakens plumped, supple, luminous. Use nightly or as needed. After your regime, smooth generously and evenly over the face. Gently massage in until absorbed. Sounds a bit over-exaggerating about all these products, like they're really, really good, but I wouldn't be sitting here telling you that they were good if I really didn't think that they were. I found one that it glides on my skin really easily. I'll show you what it looks like again. It's sort of just an off peach sort of colour, just a cream. And it's not very oily at all, and then it sort of just sits on the top of your skin. So I've been putting that on after washing my face at night and exfoliating and letting it sink into my skin. It doesn't feel like I've got a mask on, which is something that I quite like. I don't feel like I have to be scared to roll over at night and put my face on a pillow and get stuck to it or wipe a load of stuff onto my pillow and have to change all my sheets in the morning. You just get up the next morning and carry on your day, wash your face off, or get in the shower. There's nothing that you don't need to actually take it off properly, which I think is really cool as well. I'm very excited about that one, and I hope in a few more weeks' time it's gonna really hydrate my skin. This is another thing that I was given, actually, by the guys from Paul Mitchell. And as all serums do, you wash your hair, come out, you know the drill, bit damp, put some in, rub it in your hands, put it into the bottom of your hair and then sort of rub it up, you know, just the normal sort of serum. I used serum a few years ago, found a really, really good one, but it was just too expensive to continue with, if I'm honest. Um, it was sort of retailing at 30, 40 pound a bottle and I was getting through it very quickly for that price. I am a student, I couldn't afford it, so... I just gave up and just went back to normally washing my hair. But I've been told that I need to start putting oil in my hair and properly looking after it. So I've been trying this out and it has made my hair really, really shiny. It just made it feel more voluminous and bouncy. I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of got a really nice natural shine to it now. And it is thanks to this, I believe, because before it was looking a bit dull and I was getting a bit down about my hair. It was always very flat and lifeless. And it's still a bit flat. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to get away from the fact that my hair is very flat. But it's definitely got more shine to it since using this, definitely. And it always feels a lot more conditioned and hydrated than before. Another classic hair product that I've got is the Bumble and Bumble Lotion Primer and it's the orange one which is for medium weight and pre-styled with soothing side effects. So it's really really cool, great packaging, I love the packaging of Bumble and Bumble. Hair Tools Limited were at the blogging event that I went to a couple of weeks ago and I was lucky enough to get my hair done by one of their really really talented stylists called Tom and he was using this spray and he said that it is amazing. He was like you need to get your hands on some, it's so good if you want to style your hair. It smells insane, like I'm just going to spray some in the air. It smells so good. 
Um, so I've been using this and it has again made it so much easier to style my hair and just move it around. Mixed in with the serum, I'm just feeling like my hair is getting so much more better and more is getting more life into it at the minute, which is nice. Last thing that I got from this event, which I'm really excited to talk to you about is the hair colours that Hair Tools Limited gave me. They're by Electric Hag Jog. If you can see, it's quite a cool logo, really nice style, and the barrel is massive. It is so big. And when Tom was doing my hair, I told him that this is what I wanted to try out, and he did big, big, big curls. I felt like a Victoria's Secret angel, they were huge. And he achieved that look with these curlers. I have yet to try the look that he did with these hair curlers, because he is a lot more talented than I am and a lot more patient than I am so at some point I will try to recreate the look that he did and I'll let you guys know how it went. The last beauty product I'm going to talk to you about is the Benefit Their Real Mascara. I have never tried this mascara before and I'm sure so 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 many of you have already tried this and I'm late onto the bandwagon. So so pleased with how it's turned out. Okay the only comment I have to make about this mascara and it's not really a critique against the mascara it's just if you have any other fibre in your eyelash, it does get a little bit cloggy around that bit. Just make sure you put everything off your eyelash and it works perfectly and it's really, really good. And I will definitely be purchasing this again. Okay, this is a bit of a random favourite of mine, but I'm quite excited about it. On Instagram, a lot of people have been asking me, where have I got this from? It's just a little black marbled pot. And if you know anything about me, you will know that I love, love, love marble. Normally I just keep my silver jewellery in it because I think it looks quite cool and I like to take photos with it. I actually got this from the Natural History Museum in London. As well as the bowl, I got my hands on a matching tea light candle holder in the exact same pattern. Looks awesome, cannot wait to try those out. My last favourite for March is a pair of Ray-Ban Wayfarers. So I don't know if you can see, these are the tortoise shell ones and they fold. How awesome can you get a pair of folding wayfarers? I actually already have a pair of folding wayfarers that I've had for a few years now in red. They're absolutely great because they come in a tiny little case that you can just throw at the bottom of your bag and have them in there all the time just as a precaution if the sun comes out. I definitely recommend if you've got your hands on a pair, get them because they are just so great. You won't regret it. They're classic and they are worth the quality. I feel like a salesman for Ray-Ban, like buy them. Um, but yeah, I would, they're awesome. And that's pretty much it now for my favourites. I'd love to get into making more videos, so definitely like, comment and subscribe.